Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So today I have a um, finished painting to show you. So this is Simba and Nala. It actually looks so good on my camera screen. Um, it is a little 30 by 40 um, and it is of, I believe anyway, could just be some random lions, but it is Simba and Nala um, from The Lion King. There are a few versions of this going around. Um, some of them have writing on, but because writing can be a bit dodgy, I think I saw one that looked good that was like a 60 by 80, but a few of like the 30 by 40s or the 40 by 50s looked really not that good um, with the writing. So. I thought this one was really cute because it didn't have the writing but it still gives you that cute effect with the lions and it is super duper sparkly. Um, so this was from DIY Chews, um, now working on it. <laughs> so it did only take me a couple of weeks. It probably would have took me less time if it wasn't so awful <laughs> to work on. So basically, um, the canvas, the the uh, poured glue was just not very sticky, but like slidey. Like nothing would really stick to it, so it made the drills really difficult to stick to the canvas. And then the drills themselves were all um, mismatched sizes, so it made it pretty tricky to multi-place. And if you can imagine when it's annoying to place drills because the canvas is not very sticky, you want to do it faster, you want to multi-place. So it was just a bit annoying. But I do have to admit, even though the drills are mismatched, if you just zoom in. So I am slightly, even though I do multi-place, I am still slightly OCD. But if I zoom in, they do still look really, really good and straight. That's what I do like about squares. I honestly think, you guys, if you are avoiding squares because or avoiding multiplacing, sorry, or even squares because you think that they look not in line, I actually don't think they look bad at all. So either avoiding multiplacing or avoiding squares, I think you should maybe give it a go. So overall pretty pretty image super happy with the image as it came out but i was getting a bit irritated and i just wanted it done and i don't like that feeling you know where you're just trying to get a diamond painting done just to be done with it that's not the aim of the game so it was just a bit irritating but look at these pretty colors in it and just the scene and the sky and the the lions, they look really good. So this one will be going in my storage, but before I do that, I just need to take the washi tape off around the side. Because it is starting to come up at the corners. So it is just going to be better if I just take it off. So that's one piece. But I did, it, I did like having washi tape down the sides. I feel like I may do that for more paintings because A, it was just super colourful and cute and B, it made it made it a bit straighter to be fair on a square. Oh, one of the diamonds is just pinged off. A H and I don't know how it's gone. Or I could have not put it on there in the first place. It seems a bit strange. Where's it gone? I'll get another one. Oh, it's here. It's at the top. Let me just... It's because it's not very sticky, like I said. There we go. But yeah, I really did enjoy having the washi tape around it. It made it more straight and it didn't get all disgusting around the edges of my painting. I'm not worried about it being disgusting when I put it away though because it will just go in my portfolio so there's not really any dust or anything. Um, 
but like it's, it's deceiving maybe that's took some of the washi tape stickier but that seems really tacky and it wasn't it was not okay so that is the finished painting so let's put it away so let me zoom out for you guys you can see my cup of tea here that i need to remember to drink um so i'm gonna pop the painting to one side just so i've got all this room and here is my um box that i used i used the harbour freight containers for this one and i did because i didn't have the proper um stickers on i didn't make myself the stickers that had the color and everything it made it a little bit more tricky to find just from looking at the containers the letter i needed now the reason i did that if you want to watch my kitten up video if you haven't already the reason i didn't bother printing out labels is because it was all just letters that was it there was no symbols it, they were all just letters so i feel like from now on if it is just letters and numbers i'm not going to bother with the printing them because i can just pop them in order all my storage can be reordered anyway so i did put them into alphabetical order to do the painting and then as i was finishing up when i took one out i just put it back in dmc order so they are all in DMC order now. So I do just need to get my boxes out. So first things first, I'm just gonna check these that have got no DMC on them uh, with any in the painting. So we do have a few blues. So let's have a look. Ooh, hello. You look like a match. They are a really good match. Okay, so I know that this one is 800. Nice. Do I have a bag for 800 already? Because if not, I will just use that one. No, I do not. So, I am going to use this one. So, essentially for my cheaper kits for the ones that the diamonds aren't as great on essentially that is just non-diamond art club at the moment because um i've only really finished a diamond art club painting where the nice drills so for the time being i'm just going to use my older cheaper baggies for this um like i said it's just because they're not quite as nice diamonds so I need my old stickers and I need them in square to do this. So I don't like to waste so I just use stickers that I printed uh, ages ago just to pop on these bags because they don't need to be gorgeous they'll do the job regardless so that is 800 so i can pop them in this bag oh yeah the match for them is unreal um, I don't actually have any 800 in my spares, so that is why I couldn't match them up in the first place. Because I had no idea. So, take the stickers off. I might get my bin from under my desk. Um, and just pop them straight in today. I think this pink maybe could be matched up then as well. Let's have a look. Uh, that doesn't quite look a match. No, they're too mauve. What about this one? Ooh, hello. 
they do look pretty close. I'd say they were close if not bang on. Let me just have a look on Gems Flow if round 554 there's any other pinks because they look to be sort of to me um, actually standing back they're not quite quite what I thought at these no they're two rows just get these out again because when you look at it from a bit more of a distance no I'm not happy enough with with that maybe it is the same but I don't know I don't know but I'm sure if I ever come across 5 by 4 again it's either going to match or it's not going to match so we'll see but I'm just not I don't know whether to be convinced or not convinced. See, looking at it from sort of this angle, it's a no. Let me do what I was going to do. Let's have a look on Gems Flow. So, on Gems Flow, I can go to colours and I can type in. In fact, that won't work. I need to just go down. So, they're the AB drills. Don't want them. Right, DMC. Stop scrolling so far. Alicia. Done that twice now. It scrolls so fast. Um. Okay, so 554 says it's violet. And. There is none others. 553 is darker. So let's just have a look if I've got any 554 in my box. This is an arduous process, this guy is trying to. I don't. Let me just. Let me just take a couple out of the bag. And maybe one out of the pot and put them next to each other. Come on. Okay, and then if I shine a light on them, I usually can tell. I'm doing it. They're so similar. I'm having it. <laughs> I'm doing it. There we go. Yeah, you can barely tell. I'm keeping it. I'm doing it. Five, five, four. Oh, how long did it take me to decide that? I'm so indecisive. It's unreal. But it needs to be done, guys. Okay. So. I've had that. That's five, five, four. Let me get a sticker. Five, five, four. And plonk it in the box. So. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, I did actually spread these boxes out a bit more. So this box now, rather than going from 150 to 900, goes from um, 150 to um, 8.30. They're not the same brown. So now I'm looking for these two browns. Nope. I don't have any greens, do I? So this one 
cannot be put away. I don't know why I didn't put that one away. It slipped my mind. There's no green, so that needs to go back anyway. Uh, seven, nine, one is blue. That is red, a blue, a brown. This is the last sort of brown. No. Okay, so. Where did that go? Three, eight, five, seven. Oh, that goes in the back. There we go. So, they are going to need to be put back in the no DMC bag. I do have a few paintings without DMC numbers on. It's just so annoying that companies don't put them on. Uh, especially when you know that they're in order of DMC, so obviously they didn't know them. Is the worst. So, one, five, four. So the way that I do it is if I just look on my sheet I have not got 154 so it would have helped if I got my bags out here so I can now put 154 into my collection of drills um, from other companies So, I don't have a lot. There honestly is hardly any leftovers with this painting. They've really skimped and scraped on the drills. And if, if you are somebody that was being picky with which ones that you allowed on your painting, I have a feeling you would have run out um, with this one. I will get some goo gone on this later because it needs it, I think. So, I do have 154, I'll just show you my storage in rounds in both the nice drills and the less nice drills and now I also have it in square in the less nice. So what I do is I put them to the back and the idea is at some point I will fill up this bag of nice ones and I will just need to make an extra extra bag which I will pour into the less nice because I only need one bag of nice ones is the way I see it uh, so two two three I do not have either I feel like maybe this would be a quicker process if I went through and did what bags I needed. 310 I'm pretty sure I do have but if I've used up the bag recently I don't know, no. So I don't need a bag of 310, 315, maybe this is quicker to just go one by one, who knows. Three forty. I also need what a good start. Five five three. I also need. This is why the new process, where I've already got the bags, is so much quicker because I already have the bags all done and dusted so when I'm kitting down like a diamond art club I don't even need to think I literally just um, plonk it in a plonk it in a bag which is already stickered up 798799 thought I'd have had them to be honest 823 thought I'd have had that as well but I don't they're quite common common blues 
and I don't have it. Oh, I've stuck them on my bag weird. Eight, two, four. Nine one five. So essentially, I need almost every colour, and I'm done with them. Um, three six oh seven is the next one. Where's the? Oh, I do have three six oh seven. Three six eight eight. I don't have three seven four six. I also don't have. Three, seven, five, six. I don't have. <laughs> um, three, eight, three, four. That's not on this one, it's on my last sheet. Three, eight. Three, four. Guess what? I don't have. Oh dear. At least all the baggies are now stickered up, so the next part should be quick. Um, what was that? Three, eight, three, four, three, eight, three, five, three, eight, three, six. I have none of these. Three eight three seven, and then three eight five seven, which I do have. So that is for the baggies done. I just had to save my memory card, and I use the opportunity to drink my tea without you listening to me slopping it. So now I can just go and put the drills into bags. So nice and easy process now to just pop the drills away. I actually can get rid of these sheets. Just pop them to the side and then I'll I'll do the bag, I'll do, I'll put them back later, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so, now I've done this, I'm going to keep going with my little um, idea that I try and do one of these small paintings every couple of weeks. I think every two weeks is, is a, a doable amount of time to be honest because um, like they are only small but the idea um, so if you didn't already know and you, you haven't heard me say is with the small paintings because I only have sometimes some evenings I only get home really really late and then I have my tea and then I might start diamond painting at like eight half eight and then I, I try to get in bed for half past nine just so I can go to sleep for like ten o'clock and have my full like eight hours before I need to get up because I am super duper tired all the time so um that's what I'm, I'm trying to do but because of that I can't get a lot of diamond painting done so like my bigger paintings just take its toll a little bit because I try to do them in bigger sections so 
I don't feel like I'm doing it for forever and a day because I really am one of these people that likes the feeling of finishing down paintings. I love the kitting up, kitting down process almost as much as I do the actual diamond painting. So if I'm doing a diamond painting for a long, long time, it just feels like I'm never getting onto that other aspect of the hobby that I really like. So I thought to myself as well, especially because I have so many now, these little diamond paintings that I've been gifted, um, which you know I'm super duper grateful for, but I do have quite a few. So I just thought that if I can do one of them every couple of weeks, I can get down that. I can finish quite a few this year and I can have this feeling of being able to like kit up, kit down quite often. Um, which, you know, is really, really good. So that is the plan of action. Uh, whether it takes me, I think this one took me a little bit over two weeks, but that's because... I was trying to finish off the People's Princess because I did get super close to finishing it. So I just was like, yeah, I'm finishing. And this one was a bit of a pain in the bum to work on, which I've already mentioned. So I didn't feel like spending so, so much time of like every single evening on it. Some evenings I'd come and I'd still try and finish the People's Princess. So, yeah, that was my idea. So next week, next Wednesday, should be, because I usually do kitten up, kitten downs on a Wednesday. So next Wednesday should be a kitting down, a kitten up, sorry, of a new one. And I am using a decision wheel to decide what painting. Because I can't choose with these little ones. I've got so many. I can't choose with any anymore. I've just decided to let them control my life. Um, because, you know, I just feel like you can get really, really overwhelmed with choice. I genuinely think I need to use them for more things in my everyday life because I am so indecisive. I'm that type of person that winds you up because you go, what do you want for dinner? And you're like, I don't know, the choice is killing me. I don't ask me to choose anything because I just don't know. <laughs> All the time it's I don't know. So that's 6.03. So 7.91 apparently I have. Because I didn't bag it up unless I forgot. And then I will need my stickers back out. Yep, yeah, I forgot to bag it up. I forgot to uh, create a bag for it. Annoying. So I just need to find. The sticker and get it a bag. I knew I'd do something like that, that's why I didn't properly put my stickers as well away on my pegboard because I didn't trust myself that I have uh, double checked and done everything right. So now I've got it, it's fine. It's only one. See how many more times I need to do that. Um, today, I will be going over my boxes with goo gone as well, because there is little bits of sticky residue on them that just need that little extra care and attention. Seven, nine, eight is the next one. I actually as well, um, and obviously I won't be getting it out for this painting because it doesn't have any
special drills in it or ABs or anything but who knows the next kitten up I do I might be able to add some ABs I did double check actually off camera if I was going to add ABs to this painting because I completely forgot um, and I could have I could have swapped out the uh, white well it was J which wasn't a white I don't know oh sorry I it was 3756 could have swapped that out for ABs um, and made it Y ABs but I just thought mm, it's quite a bit on a small painting like if I just show you it would have been like all of that which if it was just like little sections like it is in Simba here small sections I may have swapped it out I also contemplated maybe swapping out some stuff in the sky but I didn't have I didn't have a colour match so I didn't I didn't I wasn't too fussed either with this one whereas I have got some paintings that I've unboxed where I've gone oh I could see where I'd put ABs so if that is the case and there's one that I get and I'm like I think I want to put some ABs in there I would so maybe the next painting is one of them that I do and then you might see that I actually do have an AB box now or a special drills box that I got from the empty box company and I said on my last whipping chat that actually they did end up sending it out I thought that I would have to wait five weeks and I wasn't very happy about it um, but no I didn't it was just because it was like a blanket email that they sent out about the was it wedding dress boxes or wedding hat boxes or something like that that would have taken a long time to make probably because they're so big and whatnot but yeah I didn't end up having to wait that long which was was better I must admit so this one now 824 is the last um one in this box I only have two boxes of spares and I love my spares box I'm a bit sad because I went to Hobbycraft because I found out online that they were discontinuing this um, pattern but obviously you find out when it's too late don't you um, and they'd sold out all online so I went into store just to see if they had any more they had one I was gonna get two because I definitely know if I got two that would last me years and years but if I ever need to go into a third box I am covered because I do have they had one more um, in the store so I got it but if I need to go into three and four at some point I think at that point I would do squares and rounds um, and have them slightly different designs so I have one design for squares one design for rounds but I do love my box and I love the floral print they do have a new floral print it's just not as pretty to me so let me pop that one back on my shelf and get out my 831 to 5 200s. Oh, I'm going to adjust myself on my chair and let's go again. So this is 915. Oh, I've done it again where I forgot to put my no DMC bag in my first uh, box. I'll have to put it in this one because I can't be bothered to get it back out. But I'm 
but I do try to put it in the first one because I want to obviously see it when I'm start the de-kitting so I can do what I did today and just have a check while I'm um before I'm putting the drills away uh oh wait three six oh seven that was one that I had wasn't it I'm just gonna say I've just done it again Oh, three, seven, three, six, oh, seven. Yes. Hallelujah. I actually do have three, six, oh, seven. And I like adding to ones I've already got because it means I'm getting that little bit closer every single time to get in a full bag of them so I can put it in my extras and you're probably thinking why do I want that well at some point I would like to have my extra spares have enough colours in them for me to do like a heaven and earth designs because currently all I have is loads and loads of black a bit of dark brown and a bit of dark blue but that's not enough to do a heaven and earth so I do want to get to the point where I can so I can use up them dark brown and dark blues and dark blacks um, I'll have to pick like a painting that has quite a lot of them colours in it and then I can use loads of them um, and then just little bits of my other colours that would be like the aim but I don't know what I'd pick I think I'd do it where I get one of the crown jewel canvases unless I really see one I like um, but it's not and then I you know potentially I could just buy the canvas myself I mean or there's that other option to go to that shop, you know, that do license the Mandy Manzano princesses. That'd be another option, wouldn't it? And to do it in the same way that I do a head. I was doing a head. Um, and do like maybe bell or something or you know one of the ones that I want uh, that I never got but who knows um, but I'd like the option anyway that's the point I'd definitely like to have the option to do it so I need more drills so three seven four six it's there three seven five six so we are three quarters of the way through the kit in this one and then I can see what's going to be next I'm definitely recording a kitten up after this 100% obviously you guys won't see it straight after this but I will be recording a new kitten up if you follow me on Instagram if I do a row of it before my next video you will get a sneak peek of what it is because I do do that I just my Instagram is completely separate to my YouTube so um I literally just post what I'm doing so videos can be a lot later because I only have really time to edit three a week so even though some weeks I can film more I don't have time to edit them and then other weeks I can't film as many uh, so it just works out nicely for me that I just spread them out a little bit um, to make sure that every week I can do Monday, Wednesday, Saturday uploads. Um, so I, yeah, I do. I do film 
when I can and I am off this week it is half term it is Wednesday so uh, three eight three four so yeah I'm, I'm definitely gonna get both of the videos uploaded sorry done not uploaded yet and then I'll upload them for the, the corresponding weeks so if you want to go check out my Instagram and you might get a sneak peek if I do finish a uh, row of the painting because I, I used to post every single section but then my feed just got like inundated with like just one painting and I didn't really like the look of it so now I just update every row that I do so um that's how I kind of go about it now uh with my paintings and my Instagram but yeah you can totally go and have a look definitely um, you can also join our Facebook group um, I actually need to start posting again more on that but I do still like answer questions I always like to see everybody else's works in progresses that's something that i just love to do i always like every single one i see um we definitely need to grow that facebook group because i just want it as a as a safe space for us all um and a place where like like if you do youtube or if you like youtube you can see not just me but you can get like lots of people posting their videos that would be the aim so if you are a youtuber make sure that you get on that facebook group and if you just like to watch youtube videos also get on that facebook group um we also have the likes of like prison diamond paintings on there um and brimwood crafts who does pens um so there's there's plenty to keep you entertained I do want to grow it. It is a very, very small group at the moment. So, yeah. Get on that. And, um, yeah. Have a look. All my links are down below in the description box. So, you can find absolutely everything that you need down there. There's If you go onto my link tree, I've even got, like, discounts for brands and stuff um, and affiliate links so not necessarily all the discount links are affiliate links but um, yeah feel free feel free to have a nosy yes okay so that is I need to stop saying but yeah or oh uh, yeah or uh say all these things all the time and I'm really conscious to it but I can't stop doing it. Anyway, that is all them kitted down. Let's take the big sticker off the top. That one should have been easier, yeah. Because that's my stickers. Um and then you need Google here and I need my where's my cloth hmm where is my cloth don't tell me it has gone down the back of my drawers oh it has it has it went down into the drawer underneath so this is a pretty gross cloth but I've washed it before and it's not really helped anything so I just keep it the way it is now it still does the job um, I'm useless at getting these caps off I'm like a child there we go 
honestly, it's like seriously, you know, like child lock. They they work to keep me out as well. So I'm just rubbing it over. They're not too too bad to be fair, because I'm really conscious when I'm taking the stickers off in the first place. That one's a bit minging. Yeah, I try really hard when I take the stickers off at the start to um, try and minimise the residue but obviously sometimes a little bit stay so that's why I just use it but you can use I've tried I've tried everything I did actually try anti back wipes because I really didn't fancy getting a product just for this so I've tried lots of different wipes but none really did the job um like this did so I just I succumbed and I know a lot of people do use it so that went off and I don't even know when it went off what am I doing um so I have completely finished I have wiped down my pot with goo gone if you didn't see that or you might have I don't know um, but I've wiped down my containers with goo gone took the stickers off and everything so that is me all de-kitted um, so thank you so much for liking, subscribing, commenting and of course watching and until next time guys see you in the next one